Mr. President, thank you, my distinguished colleagues. The good people of Garkida will forever remember the nine Senate. The Senate is uh, aware that on the 21st February two, 20, 2020, an insurgent group attacked the good people of Garkida, a peaceful town in Gombe local government area of Adama Central Senatorial District. The insurgents in over seven gun trucks and many motorcycles attacked the town at about 7 p.m., setting many buildings ablaze. Also aware that three soldiers were killed in the dastardly attack. Properties worth millions of naira were burned or destroyed, including public hospitals, schools, telecommunication facilities, police stations, buses, cars, food stores, private properties belonging to the good people of Garkida. Worried that the Garkida crisis, which has led to the destruction of lives and property, were planned by the insurgents to have a religious con connotation, considering that churches and residences of some prominent indigents were burned, an act aimed at destroying the foundation of peaceful coexistence among Garkida community and Adama state as a whole. Further note that as a result of this, the urgent need to take more drastic actions in the face of such affront on the national security architecture, the, religion, the region and indeed the entire nation is long overdue. Concerned that in view of the enormity of the situation, the federal government needs to put more innovative measures in place to, for, to frontally confront those challenges. Prayers resolve that one asks the chief of army staff to re-establish a military command base in Garkida and also all major settlements bordering the Sambiza forest immediately. To call on the Northeast Development Commission to immediately embark on rehabilitation of public and religious institutions destroyed and, pro and destroyed and provide assistance to other individuals affected. Three, urge the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to urgently assess the extent of damage and provide relief materials immediately to the Garkida community affected. I so move. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Bino Siaro, Senator representing Adama South. I rise to second the motion so ably presented by my sister, the Senator representing Adama Central. In doing that, Mr. President, I would like to add that uh, the attacks that have been taking place appear to be unending. A few days ago, this Senate dedicated a whole day to debate the issue of insecurity in this country. And uh, as a result, an ad hoc committee was set up. Mr. President, it is important for, as the motion stated, drastic action to be taken to bring these attacks to an end. A few days earlier, a similar attack took place in my own constituency, in the village of Bang, in Numan local government, where two people were also killed. Mr. President, it is important that the issue of security be addressed frontally because it appears to be getting out of hand. With these remarks, Mr. President, I second the motion. Thank you. Go to the prayers. Prayer one, ask the Chief of Army staff to establish a military command base in Garkida and also all major settlements bordering the Sambiza forest immediately. Those in favor of prayer one say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Prayer two, call on the Northeast Development Commission to immediately embark on rehabilitation of public and religious institutions destroyed and provide assistance to other individuals affected. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. And prayer three, urge the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to urgently assess the extent of damage and provide relief materials immediately to the Garkida community affected. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. 
those against any uh, is heavy. Well, like um, Senator Binos uh, uh, indicated in his intervention, sorry, the, the Senate had discussed, debated so much on the insecurity in the country and we set up an ad hoc committee under the leadership of the Senate leader. Uh, the committee is working very, very hard. Uh, we are trying to look for solutions to the insecurity bedeviling the country today. Uh, we are not going to rest on our oars until we are able to provide solutions to the insecurity in the country. This is the essence of our being in government. Uh, and of course, it will require that we work with House of Representatives and the Executive as well as citizens because uh, I believe that citizens need to be taken into confidence in, in the fight against insecurity. So we, we will not uh, uh, waste any time. As soon as the, the, the report is ready, I believe by next week probably the report will be ready. We are going to look at the report of the ad hoc committee and take those uh, important and very valuable resolutions and of course engage with the executive arm of government. But I believe that we are on the same page with the executive arm of government. Everybody is worried and we are going to do whatever it takes. And I normally say, if we have to invest so much money, so be it. Because there is nothing more important than life. Not even infrastructure. Life is more important than anything. So we need to protect the lives of the people that have sent us here, that have made us to be, to be uh, in government. Thank you very much. Leader of the Senate.